Hey, this is Noel from creationeffects.com with a special yummy treat for all of you After Effects users. Like the title says, I'm giving away free lens flare effects for After Effects. And it's not stock footage, but custom high quality lens flares that you can animate and control. So you can make them look however you want and then composite them into your footage or motion graphics. And this is really cool because remember these? These are those lens flares that they've come with After Effects since, I don't know, at least CS3. There's only three of them and very few customization options. And I don't think anyone really liked them back then. And they still haven't changed. So download this and you'll get 50 lens flare presets and you'll have tons of customization options. Uh, or you can also build your own custom lens flare. And I'm going to show you all, all the features and how to use it in a minute. But first of all, uh, what is it? Well, it's called Creation Lens Flares, and it's an After Effects template. And this is the product that I launched my company with, creationeffects.com. And it's an enormous template. It actually took over five months to create. And uh, it had a good run, uh, but I thought it was time to give something back, you know? So I thought, what is it that the people need most in this world? And of course, the answer was Lens Flares. So, here you go. It was $70, now it's free. Uh, just go to the link in the description and you can download it now. Um, doesn't cost anything, but I, I do love attention and to feel loved. So if you download the template, I would ask uh, you to express that love in any way that you want. If you can, a, a link to creationeffects.com or a share of this video on social media site would be best. If you can't do that, you can Help us out by liking some videos or commenting or subscribing, following on Facebook, whatever you want to do. And I hope when you go to the site uh, to download the lens flares, you'll also check out the other custom effects on there for After Effects users. There are custom 3D books, there's VHS effects, old film effects, glitch effects, ink bleeds, auroras, growing flourishes, uh, lots of text effects, and lots of different art effects. So you can convert your video to animated artwork in just about any medium you can think of. Okay, that's out of the way. Let's uh, talk about the template. This is going to be a very quick rundown, so just the very basics. When you go to the website, you'll notice that there's a bunch of video tutorials, and don't watch them. You, you don't got to watch those. I tried watching them again, and I couldn't even get through them. So, And people say I sound like Steve Buscemi in my tutorials, so... Unless you, if Steve Buscemi just talking about lens flares for 80 minutes, you know, mispronouncing the word template, if that all excites you, then great. You're going to love these. But probably most of you can just watch this video and maybe the first two tutorials on the webpage and you'll be fine. And if you want to use any of the more advanced features, you can always watch the rest. So when you download the zip file, uh, be sure to open it the right way or you could get errors in After Effects. If you're on a Windows machine, you need to right-click it and choose the Extract All option. And uh, if you're on a Mac, you just double-click it. And um, then make a backup of the project file inside, so you can always go back to the original settings. And then open it up. And if you already are working on a project and you want to bring the lens flares into that project, just go to Import and File and choose the project file. This first folder here, Automatic Anamorphic Streak, uh, it might produce a nice effect if your footage is dark enough. You just drop your footage into this first comp and then the other comp will give it this kind of cinematic anamorphic lens flare that you can customize. The next folder is for if you want to build your own lens flare from scratch. I'll show you that in a minute. The really good stuff is all in here, the presets. And there's 50 finished lens flare comps in here. And you can preview this video clip here to, to figure out which one you want. And then you'll find your lens flare here in one of these folders. You've got a control layer at the top, and then all these layers underneath, which are the different lens flare elements. And the control layer has a bunch of these slider controls for customizing the lens flare. So you can change the brightness and scale and such and uh, everything everything under reflection controls here uh, will affect all the reflections, which is basically everything that's not this part here, the light source. And you can keyframe any of these uh, to animate the properties of the lens flare, 
And like you saw, you can just click on the control layer in here and you can move your light source around. Or you can keyframe the position property of the control layer uh, to animate the lens flare to move. And you can also motion track your footage and attach the control layer to a light in your footage. And I'm not going to show you how to do that. There's a, a lot of tutorials out there for motion tracking. Now you may want to move this lens flare into a different comp with your footage or whatever. So I'll create a new comp here. And you can just select all the layers. And copy and paste them into the other comp. Make sure the control layer is on top. And if you want to make things tidy, you can just hit the shy switch and that will hide all the elements so only the control layer is showing. So the control layer makes changes to the lens flare as a whole, but every element also has a bunch of controls so you can change the look and behavior of just that element. So you really have a ton of control and, uh, and really that's just the beginning. Um, in the build your own folder, you can open the base comp, which is like your blank canvas uh, for making a lens flare. And then you can open the elements folder and just select any elements you want from here. Copy. And then paste them into your base comp. And just like the presets, you can make global customizations using the controls on the control layer or local customizations to any element uh, using the controls on that elements layer. And the second tutorial on the webpage is called Creating an Example Lens Flare. So you can watch that if you want to learn more about that process. Also, and I'm not going to go into details about this, but if you think you'll be using this a lot and you really want to build some good lens flares, you'll want to check out the effects library, the expressions library, and the lens textures. And there are tutorials for each of those features on the webpage. Uh, in a nutshell, the effects library has a bunch of custom effects that will change the look of your elements. The lens textures let you add dirt and smudges to the lens flare uh, for a little added realism. And the expressions library is really cool. It's how you can program properties of your elements. So you can, for example, have the lens flare dim as the light source approaches the edge of the frame. Or uh, you can make reflections expand or twinkle or rotate, or behave in a number of other ways as you move your lens flare around. So there you go. Uh, I wanted to keep this video short, so that's a very quick overview of a very large template. There are literally thousands of lines of expressions in here, um, which doesn't make it run super fast, but it is super flexible. You really have all the control you could ever want. So I hope you enjoy the lens flares and can make some really cool stuff with it. Again, the link is in the description, and don't forget to comment, uh, like, subscribe, share, link. Whatever you can do to show your support is appreciated, and uh, be sure to check out the other cool effects at creationeffects.com.